Okay, this is how we do it. Pull up and we kill him on arrival. That's a drive by. Call a Uber cause we lit. And you know it's pretty as we staying all the way on the west side. That's the best side. It's true to come through. Welcome and welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Achal. My partner Akuri is not here with me today, but she's definitely coming back. She misses you and I also miss you guys too. It has been quite some time, almost a year before we uploaded a video or before we communicated anything to you guys. And I hope you're doing well because we're also doing fine. So today I'm here to talk about boundaries. As you can tell from the title of the videos, how to set boundaries first thing boundaries teach people how to respect you how to love you and how to not give you bullshit and lack of boundaries can lead to so so much disrespect and we do not need that it is important for you to set boundaries in whatever kind of relationship you're in either in friendship or either in romantic relationships and if people violate your boundaries you pack your things and move along baby we are too old to be stressed by other adults okay so first thing first when setting your boundaries you should learn how to say no you see no is such a full sentence no one should ask you for an explanation whenever you say no to them you do not need to explain yourself and if people do not want to understand that you've said no let them go mama let them go because I cannot be saying no to something and you want me to explain and you're like, oh, you don't want to listen to me. And I said, no, I said no. And if you do not want to listen to that, sorry, but I cannot entertain that. When you do not say no to things, people will get away with hurting you with so many BS. And you will just be there. Ah, they're my friends. Ah, this is my babe. Ah, this is my boyfriend. This is my girlfriend. Say no and walk away. Okay? The second thing is be ready to walk away whenever you feel like your boundaries are being violated. When people do not want to respect your boundaries that you've set, please pack your things quietly and go. People know what they're doing deep down they just be lying to you oh, i did not know people seriously know what they're doing so when you feel like your boundaries are being violated please move along move along baby move when people violate your boundaries it means they do not respect you they do not give a damn they do not care the third one is do not and i say do not be a people pleaser do not please everyone in your life strive to make yourself happy when you struggle to make everyone happy it just leads to a lot of disrespect people know oh a child will do this for me so i can do that and that a child will do this for me so i can do this and that do not please people and in this life you can never ever make everyone happy there are those who are happy with you and there are those who are happy with how you operate with your boundaries and they do not need you to lick their ass okay and they will stay in your life stop being a people pleaser do what makes you happy and go if people do not like it that's up to them it doesn't mean you're disrespecting them it doesn't mean you're being heartless it doesn't mean you don't want to be their friend but you're not living your life for them okay leave your life for you all right leave your life for you not for them this life is too short for you to be people pleasing you won't uh, 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 uh. the fourth one and this is my favorite is choose your damn standards of anything you see those standards that you set for yourself do not lower them for any relationship, for any boyfriend or for any girlfriend, for any friendship, okay? Let them stay up there. If they can't keep up, they will go. You do not want, you don't have to lower your standards for me. It breeds disrespect. Set your standards so high that no one, no one will let you lower them setting my standard it's a way of me telling people you know these are my boundaries you cannot do this and you cannot do that these are standards you cannot violate babe no way 
so do not lower your standards for any damn reason be that girl and be that man fifth one is uh being self-aware you should know what you want you should know what you need you should be authentic you should be real with people be aware of what you can take and what you cannot take communicate how people should treat you how they should talk to you be self-aware that you communicate your own feelings your own thoughts it doesn't matter if you will offend others because <laughs> you're not here to make everyone happy not everyone will accept how you feel the last thing is do not strive to always be the peacemaker in relationships so just say my own in a boyfriend yako i'm your friend because you do not want to settle things i'm saying do not be the peacemaker all the time in relationships there will always always be misunderstandings it is good to make peace right but not at the expense of your boundaries not at the expense of your peace and you should not be you should not be struggling to make sure everyone is okay things are okay in your relationship every day and time let them make this thing happen okay there will always be fights there will always be misunderstandings misunderstandings but if you cannot disagree to agree and they will always want you to sacrifice your happiness be the peacemaker i see yes so mami talka talka wende enda and be free so with all that i have said i hope you guys learn one or two things and if you have any other thing that you want to add you can comment down below on the comment section and i'll be coming back to you guys with another video very soon so until next time my loves bye